Alright, so today's an interesting day because they uh, brought out the Ancestral Recolor Kit. So basically this thing here can be changed using the kits and you can get that from the Challenge Mode Raids. I, I thought I was done with Raids like forever on this account, but Jagex always finding new ways, you know, to bring me back. We need to get three kits for each piece. So the best way to get these kits is going to be through Group Challenge Mode Raids. So everybody in the raid has a chance to get the kit. So we're not competing with each other at all, and it's not influenced by points either, which is amazing. So it's all about speed, and group rates are typically a lot faster than the solos. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go with the groups to save a lot of time. Oh yeah, also this is pretty cool. They updated some of the uh, metamorphic mobs. Fispina looks pretty cool now because I believe it can fly? Flying Fispina. Oh, I see. That's cool. Yeah, there you go. That, that looks nice. I like that a lot. Well, they also did a Tecton one too, for Enraged. That is ridiculous! Look at this, why did they make the sound of this pet so obnoxiously loud? I, this is worse than the God War pets. The God War pets isn't even this bad, dude. So for those of you that don't know, Challenge Mode Raid is an optional feature in Chamber of Zergs that you can select to do. And if you select it, you have to do every single room that's available in chambers and all the mobs there have higher defense and hits harder and the only reason why you would do this mode is so you can get the exclusive items that you can only get from the challenge mode which is the metamorphic dust and the newly released ancestral twisted kits didn't realize we were skipping but I guess it's all about speed you know alright boys oh second one Second one, 36 minutes, not bad. The first one was a warm-up, that was for sure. Hold on. Oh, we got an arcane finally. Oh my god. <laughs> first drop, dude, in like 20 uh, challenge mode raids. Turn the thousand points. Good luck. Headbang. Oh, another arcane. <laughs> Good luck. Nani? Oh my goodness, we saw our first kit. Let's go in like 30 raids, 30 challenge modes. Let's see, let's go. Alright, good luck, boys. I don't know why I have 40,000. What the hell, bro? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Good luck. Oh my god, Mary J got the dust. Come on. <laughs> uh, wait, he already has the dust, though. That's the thing. It's not his first dust. Yeah, they made it they made it so you can get multiple dusts easily. Alright boys, good luck. Oh my god, you also got a kit! No way! What the f Yo, this guy oh my god, he got the disco light, dude. He got a he got a purple light and a uh, I think it was a lime light. If you get two different things like that, now it changes colors. That's fucking insane, bro. Holy shit. Ancestral roll bottoms. And then dust to ever. Holy shit. I think it's my turn soon, bro. I think it's my turn very soon. Good luck. Oh my god. I got a twisted kit. Yo. Oh my god, dude. Look at this. Look at the color. Oh man, I thought we got the disco, bro. Holy shit, let's go. Yeah, that's freaking sick, dude. Imagine I got the purple as well. It would have been a disco uh, lime green purple, dude. Hell yeah, boys. Oh, that's sick. Hell yeah, that's cool, man. We got we've seen so many so many things in uh in four raids today. Holy shit. All right, anyways, uh, so for the uh, first kits, I'm gonna go with the legs because obviously uh. We had to spend like 2,000 raids to get our uh, last raids item. And it being the legs, you know. So we're just going to go with the legs first, I guess. Oh, the ornament kit attaches itself to the item. Sick. All right, let me put on this uh, mage setup. Well, it's not looking the best because it's not, you know, we don't have the full set yet. But but yeah, great legs is nice. It can, it can match well with bandos. Let's see. Yeah, it matches pretty well with bandos. So there's another reason. Why I would do legs first, I guess. Yeah. That's sick, though. That's cool, man. I've been wanting this for a long time. So we got our first one. Just got to get two more, man. 
So I decided to save the setup portion of this video later on because I was still trying to figure out what the best setup for me was going to be for like group CMs and stuff because I've gotten a lot of new items like the Inquisitors from Nightmare and whatnot. So yeah, this is what I finalized after doing about 50 CMs with the boys. So we are rocking max melee for the most part, uh, mating the mace for everything else outside of the ohm, uh, lance for ohm. But yeah, I'm bringing the Inquisitor Placeguard as well because it does give me that 12 crush accuracy, which makes the mace super accurate, more so than something like a rape here and the Blade of Salador. And also uh, makes the Warhammer more accurate as well, which is amazing, 12 more crush accuracy. Also, I'm packing pretty much max range. Uh, we're also packing max magic as well. And uh, here's some special items though, I guess. Uh, Steam Battle Staffs just to fill up the vials faster. Saves quite a bit of time. Uh, yeah, we are not bringing that much food because we pretty much prep early on. So this is more than enough to get us through all the way to uh, the prep room, which is only a few rooms in. And uh, I pre a range pod and uh, anti-dote just for shamans and stuff. But yeah, it is a lot of inventory management, but it's not too bad. Once you figure it out, it's not too bad. Yeah, the evening is so insane, dude. We just finished this room in like, I don't know, honestly, like two minutes. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. So good thing about a gauntlet, I don't have to re-gear and shit. So <laughs> if I'm waiting for my, uh, my teammates to be ready and see them, I can just do one or two, you know, while they go eat or something. And I don't have to rebank, feels good, man. I don't have to get out all my gear. Oh! I hit a 57? Sit the fuck down. Oh, that just hit a freaking 90, bro? That's oh. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. No! I, I have no charges. Alright, well. I just wasted 40 minutes doing this raid. Oh my god, did I charge this thing recently? Yeah, dude, how many fibers do I need to charge my enhanced trident, dude? It's been so long <laughs> since I've tried to fully charge this thing. Here we go, let's just do it. Oh, wow, it's a hundred thousand. It was a hundred thousand fibers, Jesus. I spent quite a bit of time, man, to get that, but I can't get screwed over, though. You know, I can't get screwed over for a long time. 20,000, let's go. That's unfortunate. Yes, landed the spec. Let's freaking go, man. The power of the skirts, 12 extra crush accuracy is divine, bro. Spin. Oh my god, how does Mary J keep getting the dust? That's his third one, bro. What the hell? Oh, look at this guy, bro. He's got full twist ancestral. That's sick, man. Nice. Holy shit. I just did back to back floor five on time. Ho ho. I'm gonna loot this one too, though, before I go. Yes! Oh my god, I'm getting so good at this. Haha! <laughs> Three in a row! Three in a freaking row! Get wrecked, agility course! Yes! Oh my god, wait, I can still make it. 10 seconds! Oh my god. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Jesus Christ, man. I literally just made it on time. 3 seconds, 2 seconds. Wait, what? Did I make it or not? Oh, I made it! I still made it. <laughs> Yo, you seen this? Ah ha ha, she got totally and I did. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, whoa, new PB again. Let's go, three minutes. Eight minutes, let's go, man. Nice, a thousand marks, baby. 500 more to go. Now that I am consistently completing floor five around like 90% of the time, my XP per hour is actually really good now. It's like 68k an hour. Keep in mind, I am also looting, so that slows down the XP per hour, but even then, it's still better XP than Artie cores, better XP than the uh, Elf cores. If I wasn't looting, I'm probably getting around like 80 to 85k an hour, which is nuts. And that's not even the craziest part. I've seen people reaching upwards of 100k an hour if you are exceptionally good at this. But yeah, that is absolutely nuts. So it's been a week since Sepulchre release and Jagex adjusted a few things in the Sepulchre. 
Uh, number one was the arrows. It was really, really hard to see sometimes initially, so they decided to make it bigger and brighter. So that's a really good one. Nice touch. And the second one is they try to fix the flame being mismatched with the statue's movements. Sometimes it would be not in sync and it would confuse people. So they try to fix that. They did fix that one specific animation glitch. However, introduced two different glitches instead. So yeah, they have their hands full on that one. I'm going to show you right now what those are. You will see what I mean. What's wrong with that? Oh my god, something... They fucked up the... What is that glitch? Oh my god, they fucked up the flames in this spot. Oh, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Hello, hello? What was that? Oh my god. I can't see... What the fuck? What is going on? I can't... This shit's fucked. Alright, quick exit. What's the time? Oh, damn, 716. Ah, could have been so much better. Yeah, PB. Damn, 249 fifth floor, though. I'll take it, I guess. I'll take it. I'm trying to get sub 7, though, just for the funsies. Yeah. Alright, we're finally done. Well, done with getting the graceful, anyways. Okay, so we got the 1500 marks. Uh, we're not getting the cape because, you know, max cape's good enough. Oh, this is probably a PB. Damn, three minutes left, bro. What are we talking right now? Ooh, Sanfu Serum. Alright, quick exit. What's the time? Oh, damn, 716. Ah, uh, could have been so much better. Okay, we can just auto buy five. Damn, there goes all my marks. Rest in peace. Alright, okay, well, let's just go one at a time, dude. We'll do the body. Yes. And then we can do these boots and the gloves. Alright, here we go. And the gloves. Ah, there we go, boys. See, it does look pretty dark. But that's because uh, you got to play with the settings. I know some people be like, oh, it's great. Well, that's because you're playing on maximum brightness. You got to be a vampire, bro. You got to play on dark setting, dude. Alright, so uh, we still need to get the ring, though. Uh, the ring of endurance. So we're going to be keep doing this. Until we get the Ring of Endurance. Ever since going for Dark Graceful, I have gotten 1.2 million agility XP. So, so if anybody's wondering, I mean, it's not gonna be the same for you, but that's that's my my experience of getting Dark Graceful. 1.2 million agility XP. All right, I got some extra marks now, so I'm gonna buy the grapple. Cause that grapple room, you fail it so often, and I lose so much time. So, this is probably the second best buy. For the uh, convenient items. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye-bye.